Email Octopus Tutorial How to Use Email Octopus Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at Email Octopus, how you can grow your business and get started with this email marketing platform. So let's get into it. Now, the best part about using Email Octopus is that they don't have those plans where you have to subscribe to a certain number of email subscriptions and then you're paying such a premium, although you're only sending the minimum amount on that subscription. Instead, they have a starter version, which is available absolutely for free, where you can send upwards of 10,000 emails per month to over 2,500 subscribers. You also get analytical reports for 30 days and you can create three landing pages or forms. But this is only limited to one user. Now, if you go up to the pro version, you can choose the number of subscribers and emails you want to send. So let's say that my subscriber list has grown to 10,000 and, and with that, I would be able to send 100,000 emails and the price would be $36 per month. However, you can also get unlimited users as well as unlimited landing pages and forms with this kind of plan. So for a business just starting out, using the free version is going to be more than good enough for all of your basic needs. So to get started, simply head on over to emailoctopus.com. Once you are on emailoctopus.com, click on sign up on the top right over here. Once you click on sign up, we're just going to complete our sign up process via email address. So once you click on sign up over here, our sign up process will be completed. Now, once we've done that, we're just going to head on over to our email address to complete our verification. And once our verification is complete, you're going to choose your plan. So we're going to continue with the free version over here and we're going to start filling out information about our business. So I'm going to add all of your basic information like this and then we're just going to click on next over here now once you've done that you're going to have to add a basic physical address so uh, we're just going to add a address over here so i'm just going to enter any address that i want over here like so and just click on next over here just to prevent uh you know fraudulent signups they do have a address requirement now once you get your account created you will have to wait once your account is approved to be able to use it that is why it is essential that you provide accurate and valid information about your business and about your location so make sure you are adding a valid email address you're adding a valid domain name if you don't have a domain name if you don't have a website yet make sure you're adding your social media profile so it might be instagram facebook linkedin whatever profile that you have make sure it's your real profile if you fake it over here your account won't get approved and you will not be able to send emails so continuing on from over here you guys can see on the top you will get a navigation panel this navigation panel is super easy to understand so let's break it down first off you have lists in your list you can create your contact so uh, you can import a uh, pre-existing list if you want like this add a single contact like this so what you can do is first off you can add the name of your list so store subscribers over here and once i've created this list called store subscribers i can then start adding my individual contacts by clicking on add contact now I can choose a file, a pre-existing file if you have one, or you can add a single contact. Let's do this for example. And she is subscribed. Then you can also create multiple different tags. So, so once you've added your contact or your subscriber, whatever list you have created, you guys can see I have my store subscriber list. Now, even within each individual list, you can create fields and segmentations and tags. So fields are just going to be the information that you have. Let's say that you like to add a uh, field related to revenue or how much this person is spending in your store. You can just click on add a field over here and let's say purchase history. So I can add my purchase history so I can prioritize customers that are spending a lot of money on my store. So in this way, you can add multiple different fields. 
Now, next up, you have tags. So tags could be helpful in basic categorizations like male, female. So you can send specific type of advertisements. So it's a way to make sure you're targeting the right audience. If they're a female, you can tag them with the new swimsuit launch you might have. For male audiences, maybe you've launched a new uh, men's grooming product. So you can target the audience accurately with this kind of tag system. Now, Next up, you have segmentation. So segmentation is what you can do with a specific option. So what you can do is you can use a specific tag to create specific uh, segmentations. For example, I want to create a VIP segment. Now, what I would do, I would match all of the following. So let's say the people that have the tag of VIP uh, I haven't created that tag, but let's say that have a purchase history is so the purchase history is over $10,000. I can click on save over here. Then you can segment that specific category like so. So uh, purchase history contains 10,000. So like that, you can add, you know, multiple different uh, people into your specific segmentations. Obviously, I haven't added anyone's purchase history value, so no one is going to show up. Next up, you have some basic import and export features. So let's move on to those where you can import and export your pre-existing contacts in the file. Now, you also have a double opt-in, so you can confirm if your customers want to subscribe to your email list. Usually, I don't recommend turning this on. You might as well send the email, but if you want to do this, if you want to give more options to your customers, then you can choose this form as well. So you can click on yes, and this will enable the double opt-in. Now, moving on to the next section of Email Octopus, it is landing pages and forms, but we're focusing on emailing, so we're going to move ahead to campaigns. So campaigns are basically directed, goal-oriented or goal-directed emails. So you can click on create a campaign over here, and my sending name is Jane, and then this is the email address, and then I can enter my subject. So whatever your subject line is and whatever the preview text is, you can add that and then you want to choose the list that you want to send it to. Then you have some advanced settings and then the campaign name like this and then you can click on save and next like this. Now after that you can set up your content. So from here you have multiple different email templates that you can pick out from and let's say I just want a simple email. I'm just going to do a simple email because we want to keep it. We're just doing this as a uh, example. Now you can click on save and next over here. Like this, you can save and next. And then you can choose when you want to send it. So if you want to send it immediately at a specific time and what time you want to send it on. You also have a test email you can send to yourself just so it's easier for you to see how your campaign is going. And in this way, you can schedule multiple different campaigns all at once. You also have the next feature of automation. So you can click on create a automation. And from here, you can choose multiple different start points and you can have, you know, the start point of our store subscribers whenever a new store subscriber is added then I might want to send them a welcome email so then I can just click on start create my email and then that email would automatically be sent so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're not able to get started with email octopus make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video